I'd also like to show you what the Intel sixth generation core Skylake can do when you combine it with Windows 10 and RealSense. I'm going to show you something that has not been shown in public before. And that's Windows 10, Skylake, and RealSense working together to do 3D camera integrated for all kinds of user experiences. Our software team has worked with Microsoft to op optimize this on IA to take advantage of the performance and features. Now, this is purely a software development system, and the final form factor will be much thinner, but this shows what features we can create. As you know, we believe in a vision of secure computing without the need to pass, use passwords, without having to remember all of those passwords that we all have. And I'm going to show you a demo right now, a preview of authentication technology that Windows Hello uses on Windows 10 with Skylake and RealSense. Now, this happens quickly, and I believe this is a view into the future that we all need to think about and what the opportunities are. You can see in this system, it's currently locked and blocked out. And all I need to do is I'm going to walk up, put my face in front of it. Within a, just a few seconds, it will unlock, and I'll be in computing. That's all it took. <laughs> that happens so quick that it's it's not a cumbersome process, yet it's my secure face. If you walk up to that system and try and do that same thing right now, it'll never happen. And with real sense, you could walk up with a picture of me and try and do that, and it'll never happen. So this is where we believe computing is headed. This is the opportunity I believe we can use together to innovate on as we go forward. There's a lot of other uses for RealSense, though, that are beyond password authentication. And we've shown it in a variety of features like drones and gaming. And after my presentation this morning, Doug Fisher will come on stage and talk to you a bit more about it as well. And I want you to take a real hard look at RealSense and think about what you could do and how you could innovate with that. We continue to look forward to new technologies to make our mobile platforms, though, even more innovative. And I'm going to show you one example this morning where we've taken that same real sense technology and we've taken it from the PC and are moving it down into these mobile platforms. Real sense provides great new solutions when integrated with tablets. We brought this technology to JD.com, which has one of the largest warehouses in China. And today, I'd like to announce that JD.com will be partnering with Intel using RealSense to innovate and improve warehouse management. And we worked with them to innovate a prototype that we're going to show you here on stage with Chuck to improve how they manage their warehouse systems. So let's. Bring up Chuck, and, and Chuck, why don't you show us what we've put together with JD.com. So Brian, like you said, JD.com is a huge company. They ship three million boxes every day. And they currently think it takes about three minutes to measure a box and put that into the system. And if you're doing that many boxes a day, that's thousands of man hours every single day. Okay. Well, with RealSense, we can really shorten that time from three minutes to about five seconds. So, here, I'm gonna show you how we can measure some boxes. Let's say we've got, oh, a couple of those. Let's say we've got a couple of those. And let's say we even have some odd size objects, like this hand, which we need to get into a box. Let's get a couple of those. You can see we've captured all this, all this information here, measured them already in less than a minute. But it goes beyond that. We can also take all that information and calculate how much space it's gonna take in our warehouse, in our trucks or in our shipping containers, so we've not only saved tons of time, but we've made the whole thing much more efficient. That's fantastic. I mean, you could just imagine the efficiency improvement, not only in people's time, as you said, 
But just think about even the efficiency of loading your trucks and maximizing the, the amount of capacity you can put in your trucks as you go out on the road. Exactly. That's great, Chuck. Thank you very much. This is just one example of how the ecosystem can innovate in surprising new ways with Intel RealSense technology. Now, we've come a long way with RealSense, and I thought I would give you just some feeling for what we've done here. This is the RealSense camera that we all know and have seen before, and is what's been in most of the systems that we've been demoing. But what I want to show you now for the first time in public is the new RealSense camera that we're implementing into systems this year. And what you see when I hold them up next to each other is it's about half the size as the previous version. And if you could see in thickness, it's probably less than half the thickness as well. Okay. Now what this provides is the ability to put it into form factors like these tablets that Chuck and I were just showing you with much better thermal, much better performance, and much better form factors. But it's also opening up new opportunities in form factor. And so I'm going to show you here today, for the first time in public, a phone using Intel RealSense. So now you'll be able to move not only with a tablet or a PC or two-in-one with RealSense, but a phone as well with that same RealSense capability. So you can imagine the efficiency and the opportunities and the options for innovation that we have moving together. And the types of things we can do in the real world, both industrial and gaming, in just about everything we do, when we move that kind of innovation and that kind of function to this form factor.